In this video, I will show you some of the new tools and features in Photoshop 2019. In previous versions of Photoshop, pressing Ctrl Z or Command Z would allow you to only undo the last step. In Photoshop 2019, you can undo multiple steps by pressing Ctrl Z. If you want to redo what you just undid, you can press Ctrl Shift Z. You can now double click a type layer with the Move tool to quickly begin editing text in your document. You no longer have to switch back to the Type tool in order to edit text. Now when you use the Crop, Transform or Enter text, you no longer have to press Enter or click the Commit check icon. All you have to do is click outside of the canvas area to commit the changes. In previous versions of Photoshop, let's say you wanted to resize an image, you would have to press the Shift key to maintain the proportion while dragging the corner handle to resize the image. You no longer need to press the Shift key. So now you can press the Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac to access the Transform tool. Now if I resize the image, it maintains the proportion. If you want to resize the image without maintaining the proportion, you have to press the Shift key while resizing the image. So basically the steps have been reversed. You can now lock the workspace. This prevents you from accidentally moving the workspace panels. To access this feature, click Windows, select Workspace, then click Lock Workspace. Now the workspace is locked. You no longer have to select a blend mode to see how it will look on your image. You can now scroll over the different blend mode options and Photoshop will display a live preview as you scroll over the different blend modes. There is now a color wheel color picker in Photoshop. To access this feature, click Windows, then make sure color is checked. Now go over to the color panel, click the drop down menu, select color. Now you can easily select contemporary colors. Last year, Photoshop introduced the new home screen. From the home screen, you could quickly access files that you recently worked on. However, the problem was that once you open a file, you could not go back to the home screen. This issue has been resolved in Photoshop 2019. You can now access the home screen at any time by clicking the home icon on the tool menu bar. You can now search Japanese fonts with the Match Font feature in Photoshop. So if I select the Japanese font in this image, then click Type, then click Font Match, then choose Japanese. Photoshop will try to match the fonts from the fonts I already have installed on my computer or recommend a font that I can download. Photoshop will now add sample text automatically. So if you select the text tool and click on the canvas, sample text will automatically be added. 
It also does this for text boxes. You can now distribute space in between objects. Here is how this feature works. Let's say I wanted to evenly adjust the spacing between these circles. I can easily do this in Photoshop 2019 by selecting all the circle layers, by pressing Ctrl and clicking on the layers. Once I select all the circle layers, I am going to click the Move tool. Now if I go up to the Tools option panel, there are two new options, Distribute Vertically and Distribute Horizontally. Since my circles are laid out horizontal, I am going to click Distribute Horizontally. The new Frame tool allows you to create frames and placeholders. Then you can drag and drop images into the frames. The images will adjust automatically to the size of the frame. To access the Frame tool, you can press K or you can select the Frame tool from the Tool menu. Once you select the Frame tool, you would have an option in the Tools option panel to select the shape of the frame. Once you select the shape of the frame, draw the frame on the canvas. I am going to go back up to the Tools option and select the elliptical shape frame and create a second frame. Once you create the frame, you can add your images to the frame. I am going to drag an image from the image gallery over to the frame. If you want to adjust the frame, all you have to do is select the frame layer. Then press Ctrl T or Command T and you can adjust the frame. If you want to adjust the image you placed in the frame, all you have to do is select the image, then you can adjust it. This also works for text and shape layers. I am going to type some text. Once I have the text, I am going to right click on the text layer and select Convert to Frame. Once the text layer has been converted to a frame, I can add an image. One of the biggest features added in Photoshop 2019 is the Content Aware Fill. So to access the new Content Aware Fill, the first thing you have to do is make a selection. I am going to use the lasso tool to make the selection. So once you make your selection, click Edit, then click Content Aware Fill. The new Content Aware Fill workspace will open. On the left is the original image, and on the right is a preview of the Content Aware Fill results. You will notice that the preview image has a green tint. That green tint is to indicate areas of the image that Photoshop is sampling to get the Content Aware Fill results. On the left side is a toolbar. The first item in the toolbar is the Sample Brush tool. The Sample Brush tool allows you to subtract or add to the selection. The next item in the toolbar is the Lasso and Polygon Lasso tool. These tools allow you to add or subtract from the selection. The next two options are the Move tool and the Zoom tool. So now we are going to refine the areas of the image that Photoshop is sampling. I am going to select the sample brush, switch to subtract, and remove some of the areas Photoshop is sampling.
the results look pretty good. Now let's look at the menu on the right. The first option is Opacity. This option sets the opacity of the sampling area overlay. Color allows you to set the color of the sampling area overlay. Indicate shows you the overlay in the sample or the excluded areas. Color adaptation allows contrast or brightness to adapt for a better match. This setting is useful for filling content with gradual color or text changes. Rotation adaptation allows content rotation for better match. This setting is useful for filling content with rotated or curved patterns. Scale, select this option to allow content resizing for a better match. It works well for filling content with repeating patterns or different sizes. Mera, select this option to allow content to be flipped horizontally for a better match. This is useful for images with horizontal symmetry. Output gives you the different output options. So those are some of the new features and tools in Photoshop 2019. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Also make sure to check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials. Thank you for watching.